Ah. Hello everybody, DK Guillotine here, and never, never doubt a figure when you first see it, because when Studio Series 72 Starscream was revealed, I did not give a shit about that figure. I did not care at all. It looked like a repaint of Blitzwing. Blitzwing is good, but I didn't need another repaint of him. I already have a perfect Movieverse Starscream in the form of the Bayverse Studio Series Starscream. This is a perfect figure in my opinion. I did not give two shits about this figure. This is an absolutely incredible figure. Oh my god. So, real quick, I would like to say a huge thank you to my mother who actually totally hooked me up with this figure. She was at Walmart and she texted me saying that they had this guy at there and uh, I was absolutely stoked she picked him up for me and I I'm, I'm thank you so much. She doesn't watch my videos, but I'm still going to say thank you. And I, I asked her if, if that Dino there too and she said they didn't. So, that was that was a little bit disappointing because I really want Dino and he's I think he's in the wave with this guy, so I guess I guess Dino sold out. Um, but uh, I'll get him eventually. I'll get him when I I'll get him when I get him. Uh, but uh, he is so good. He is so good. Is he better than this one? I I don't think so because this is such an amazing figure. I think both of these are probably about on the same level. Like these are both perfect Starscream figures in my opinion. But uh, he is he's so good. So like getting in here close on that head sculpt, it is so amazing. It really it, they really got that. Uh, that absolutely perfectly and I'm, I'm one of those few people that really didn't care too much for the Bumblebee movie I mean it has an exceptional uh, beginning and a pretty great ending but the middle is just kind of a mess in my opinion um, I'm planning on one of these days I'm planning on rank in every single Transformers movie so I'll save it I'll save it for that video but I mean he just looks absolutely incredible some of my favorite things that stand out like the wing design here that is really awesome they all they kind of like because they're on like these hinges and they like move out and this piece swivels around I love this like thruster detail on his leg there I think that is super super cool really neat there's the back pretty much no backpack whatsoever absolutely amazing Jobby the Hong would be very happy with this figure I actually forgot to bring out these uh these little black pieces here my bad there we go. But, uh, I mean, yeah, he looks great. He really does look like a, uh, a really awesome redesign of, uh, of G1 Starscream Joe in the movies. And I love the Bayverse design. I will never hate on that design. I think that design is inventive and very cool. I really like the Bayverse design. But, I mean, in terms of a G1 faithful movie creation of Starscream, I don't really think you can do much better than this. Like, this is a really exceptional design for a movie Starscream, and I am very much on board with it. And, man, I, I gotta tell you... If this is what they're, if if the quality of this figure is going to transition in to when they eventually do a Bumblebee movie Soundwave and a Bumblebee movie Shockwave and a Bumblebee movie um, like all the all the Cybertronian characters that we saw for like five seconds at the beginning of the movie, I am so stoked! I will get every single one of them because these are just so good, man. This is such a good figure. Uh, so yeah, I mean overall he just looks absolutely incredible. Now he comes with some accessories. He comes with this guy. Oh wait, I should probably I should probably also compare him with Blitzwing real quick. So let's do that. Let's compare him with Blitzwing here. So here he is with Blitzwing. Once again, they are not so well not once again. They are not reuses uh, whatsoever. The only reused piece is that torso piece right there. You can see that is reused from Blitzwing, that middle piece of the torso right there. is the only piece that's reused. Everything else is completely different. Transformation is completely different. Everything is completely different. Like, Blitzwing had that one problem where his, like, this is a great figure. I love this figure. But he does have that one problem where if you move his arms, his entire torso just kind of falls apart, which is kind of annoying. This is not a problem whatsoever on Starscream because he's a completely different design. This uh, torso piece is not connected to the arm pieces in, in any way. So yes, he is uh, he automatically is better than that Blitzwing figure. That Blitzwing figure is very good, but he's automatically better than that just for having that alone. And let me tell you, man, the transformation in the alt mode, oh, they're so good. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, okay, so accessory wise, he comes with this and it's very similar to Blitzwing's gun, which I'll grab real quick. Right there, so here's Blitzwing's gun, here's Starscream's gun. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not feeling this accessory because, I mean, you can give him, you can give him guns for hands, yeah! But I don't really think this works for Starscream, um, even though my favorite Transformers media ever is Transformers Prime, and in that one, Starscream had guns for hands, so, so did everybody else, but I don't know, this just doesn't really feel all that Starscream-y to me, I don't really like this, and he also comes with no rays, which would be really great, but you can't plug them onto the arms. There's no ports on the arms, so you can't 
Can't give them the null rays. I would have done that. I absolutely would have plugged them there. You can plug them right here, which is what you're supposed to do. But if I'm being honest, these are, I'm not, I don't know, the accessories on this guy are probably the weakest part. Like, yeah, I mean, they look kind of cool. I'm probably going to end up super gluing them in there because I don't really care about uh, removing them for any way. I mean, there's no way to put them on the arm, so what's the point in uh, ever taking them off? So, yeah, I'm probably going to end up super gluing those in there. The only reason I haven't is because I wanted to have them separate for the video here because, uh, yeah. But, uh... I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I just, I think he's absolutely incredible, seriously. So let's get to this transformation because it's so good. So first thing you want to do is you want to come to the hands here and you want to flip them in and then rotate the form around. So on the hand, you want to flip the hand in and then rotate the forearm around just like that. So you had that going on. Now we're going to do the legs and my God, this leg transformation is so freaking brilliant. So take this little crouch piece and push that in right there. You're going to take the legs and you're going to rotate them at the top there. And you're going to do that on both sides. Make sure that the knees are not active anyway. By the way, he's got great articulation. I forgot to say that he's got angle pivot and everything. Lovely articulation, very well uh, posable. Uh, and anyway, you want to come down here to these leg pieces here and you want to untab these blue pieces. These will untab and then you want to flip these up and you want to flip them all the way up so that, so once again, you want to have the legs oriented like this and those blue pieces are going to come up all the way just like that. And then you're going to do that on both sides right there. So take that blue piece, untab that. It's, it's kind of asymmetrical garbage. So Death the Kid would not like this figure at all. But um, if you plug, if you move that like that, you can see this one has a fin, this one does not and then you want to take this little blue piece here and it's going to fold out and that's going to complete the fin right there and now what you're going to do is this is oh man this kind of gave me kingdom warpath flashbacks but this one's actually fun to do so what you're going to do here is you're going to take this little piece here and you're going to bring that piece up and then you're going to take this entire assembly flip this around and you want to get that to clear right there. You can always uh, you can always move the leg to get the clearance right there. And then you want to put that in there and it's going to peg in place right there in the legs and that is going to fill all that in just like that, which is so cool. So once again on this side, you fold that up, you rotate this entire piece around. Once again, you can use that to get clearance just like that fold that in and that is going to fill all that in, peg that in place. It doesn't peg in place super securely or anything, but it's good enough. And then there you go. There you have basically the legs all done. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to come down to the feet and you want to flip them in just like that. And there you go. Then you have the legs basically all done. Next up, take these little blue pieces right here and you're going to fold them in to the torso just like that. And now this piece, you're going to need to, you're going to, need to, to do some force here. This uh, torso piece, you're going to lift it up and this piece is tight it tabs in very well so you're gonna oh there we go gotta get some leverage on that piece and you're gonna bring that piece up just like that and this is super super cool so what you're going to do now is you're probably going to you're going to well i guess we're going to untab these first so let's get these untabbed first so the arm pieces here you can see there's a hinge this is going to untab just like that and we're just gonna keep we're just gonna get that untabbed for now just to make our lives a little easier later on and we're going to do that and now we're going to take this entire piece so you've raised this piece up and you're going to take this entire piece and you're going to flip this out and you're going to get clearance from these wings and it's all going to flip around just like that so that entire leg piece is going to fold out like that then you're going to come down here to these little panels here you're going to splay these out and that's going to allow you to flip up the nose cone cone anyway <laughs> you're going to flip that out just like that and that's going to give him the nose con cone and if you get that reference, you're awesome. And then we're going to come up here to the legs and we're going to combine the legs. So we're going to peg the legs together right here in the back. You can see that the blue pieces here are going to tab together and all that is going to tab together just like that. It really only tabs together in the, the blue section right there. And then you're going to bring this down and we're going to make, make the arms, take the arms and make them go straight down like that. And we're going to bring up the head piece here. And I like to rotate the head around. Oop, his head popped off. <laughs> That's not a big deal. It all just goes right back on. I like to rotate the head around so it won't be looking at you from the back. And then just fold it up into that little cavity right there. And you want to make sure it's like kind of, it's kind of like level with that red piece right there. And then bring these down. You can go at this point, you can take the wings and bring them down a click just like that. And then what you're going to do now is this leg piece, you can see there are slots right here and those are going to tab into those tabs right there. So right there and right there into those slots and they are just going to go down and 
they are going to tab in place very nice and securely, just like that. So you have that going on. At this point, we're gonna make sure that these are all pushed in place, and then you can take these little pieces, these are gonna hinge out, just like that, and then you're gonna do that on both sides, and you're going to combine them together, and that is gonna fill out the top of the jet mode, just like that, so all that is filled in. At this point, we can take the wings, we can flip them around just like this, take that and push that in there, and then take this piece and unfold it from the wing, and there you have one wing all done. Same thing on the other side, fold this piece around, push that in, bring that piece out, and there you have the other wing all done. And last but not least, we want to take the arms here, and once again, since we already unhinged them, it's super easy, barely an inconvenience to just rotate them around, and they're going to tab, and they're just going to slot in place right there, same on the other side, bring it around, and last thing you're going to do is you're going to take the arms here, you're going to bring these in, and you want to have these blue pieces, you want to have these kind of level with the floor here, and, and if you do that correctly, you want to take these panels here, plug them together, do that, and if you do that correctly, where those blue pieces are level with the floor, he will have no problem being able to stand up, as you can see right there. So, there you go, there you have Starscream in his Tetrajet mode, and uh, I, I, I just love this. <laughs> I love this vehicle mode so much. Look at this thing, look at this magnificent thing, it looks so good, like I genuinely love the way this thing looks. I just think it looks absolutely awesome, seriously. I, I love it, I mean like, there's the front on, the top right there, that's that's the best part right there. There's the back, once again I like to flip that head around so he's not just peeking at you from the back there. And I mean like, there's the bottom. Um, one thing you can do though, to fill him out a little bit more, and I do kind of, I, I do like this, is that there's these two tabs right here, and then that tab right there, and the gun has a slot on either side, and then a bigger slot right there, and these are all gonna tab in place right there, and then you just kinda kinda work it into place, and then you can get it into there, and that's gonna give him a gun on the bottom, and I do think this does make it look a little bit better, um, but once again, I don't really like this gun in robot mode, so I don't know, I probably will, will keep this gun in my accessory drawer, but I still think that does look pretty cool, and it's not blast effect compatible, so that kind of sucks, but it is pretty cool, so you can have him uh, with that gun right there, and this will make him even easier to stand up on your shelf. He doesn't really have a problem standing up without the gun, but I think he stands up a little bit better with the gun, and of course the null rays as well are also actually a little bit better in this mode, because in this mode you have these slots, and you have these in robot mode too, but... I mean, you can use whatever you want, you know, to your figure, you can do whatever you want with it. But those slots right there, you can slot in the null rays into, because you see they have that little, that little tab right there, and that will go into that slot, and if you do that, you've got maximum firepower, if I could get, if I could get it in there, there we go. And you've got maximum firepower, do 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 so cool, so cool, oh, I love this figure, oh he's so good. So there you go, you got two, of, you had the null rays and you got that right there. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, as much as I love that robot mode, I'm probably gonna display it mostly in this mode because it's just so dope, like I love this mode. And I mean, I already have my Baver Starscream um, displayed on my Studio Series Decepticon shelf and I love that figure so I don't wanna replace that figure. So yeah, I mean this guy's probably just gonna, I don't know, I might even like hang him from the ceiling or something, like this, this Tetra Jet mode is so dope. I don't have the Siege Tetrajet mold, I'm sorry. I wish I did so I could compare him with you for him. Uh, I can compare him for you guys, but I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe one day I'll get it though. I kind of want that Rainmaker pack, so I don't know if I ever see that in like a target. If I ever if I ever get a chance to get that for a decent price, I will I will grab that. But uh yeah, uh, I think I really think that's gonna probably about do it. Oh, one more thing, one more thing I want to say. I discovered this uh, yesterday when I was messing with this guy. The uh, the nose cone here is removable. You can bring it down and it just untabs, and then you can just kind of pull it off right there. So if you'd rather have that look, which I mean, it doesn't look good or anything, but I mean, if you want to do it, you can. But me personally, I it will not be doing that because it looks dumb. I like that. So there you go. I think that is going to do it. Um, Overall rank on this guy, honestly, I think he's S tier. I, I think he's absolutely incredible. I think this might be one of the best Studio Series figures so far. He's so good. Um, I kind of, these feet sticking out the back, I kind of wish they had kind of, they had been able to close up a little bit more, but honestly, that's like, that's like the only issue. Like, it, it's even a good size. Like, it really, it, it looks, it's like honestly kind of, it, it's really fucking cool. Like, uh, here's, um, 
Come here, buddy. Come here, Thrust. Here's the Earthrise Seeker mold. Uh, it's Thrust, so. There you go. There's the Earthrise Seeker mold for comparison. I mean, yeah, I, like I said, S tier. I, I think he's S tier. I think he's amazing. I think he's absolutely amazing. I love this figure. If you pick him up, if you see him in stores, pick him up. You are going to absolutely love him. He is, he is so good. Uh, there's, there's no looseness with the joints. Everything is fantastic. Accessories are fun. Transformation is super fun. Very complicated, but super fun. Not, not uh, frustrating at all. And the alt mode is God tier, in my opinion, so... There you go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like. I would very much appreciate that. And subscribe if you'd like to see my disgusting face talk about more robots that turn into things. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine. I'm signing out.